Amen, amen. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lakeland's Christian Center's Midweek Service. It is a pleasure, a plum-pleasing pleasure, as my man Les Brown would say, uh, to be a part of tonight's service. Thank you so much, you all, for joining in. Um, it's always awesome and an honor to be able to bring the Word of God to you. Thank you, Pastor Kay and Pastor Riley. They are back, everybody, back in town ready to rock and roll all fresh and all that good stuff happy birthday to kayla the granddaughter and graduation and all that good stuff i know they had a ball with family man that's awesome but welcome home mom and pop welcome home welcome home uh we held the fort down for you and uh hopefully the church is still standing <laughs> we didn't burn it down praise god <laughs> Couldn't get in there, kept the devil out of the place. Amen. We had a good time, but thank you. Uh, but thank everybody for joining in. Thank you, Lakewood family, for your commitment and dedication to the ministry. We certainly appreciate you all's loyalty, and we certainly know that we're going to get bigger and better as God continues to bless. And we know that nothing but increase comes from the Lord in every aspect of our lives. So I have high expectations for increase and even more people coming from the north, south, east, and west once they get over this fear of this pandemic nonsense and start walking in the confidence of the Lord and coming to receive a word from God right out of his book. Not our book, but his book. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and pray and get started for this evening. Be sure to take your notes. Those of you who are studying to become ministers and those of you who are not studying to become ministers, take your notes because I'm telling you those notes will serve a great purpose when you want to go back and and remind yourself of what the Lord has said and what the Lord has done. Amen. All right, here we go. Father God, we thank you so much for allowing us to come together once again. Uh, it's just an honor, God, that you have kept us alive and you keep us growing and flowing in the spirit of the Lord and being blessed and having the ability to overcome. As always, God, I ask that you think through my mind and speak through my vocal cords as I minister to these, your sheep, and God, I ask that revelation knowledge flow freely, uninterrupted by any demonic or satanic force. None of me and all of you, God, let your word be true. Your word be true and everyone else's word a lie. Because in your truth is eternal life, and it's goodness, abundance, healing, prosperity in all aspects of our lives. It's just so much goodness that you've bestowed upon each and every one of us that believe in your truth and your son, Jesus Christ. So we want to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. And these things we pray in the mighty, majestic name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, guys, here we go. It's called, tonight's uh, teaching is called Calling on the Name of the Lord. Write that down. Calling on the Name of the Lord. Uh, in my studies, you know, I'm, I'm learning so much more now that I've gotten really astute in terms of preparing for messages and, you know, just finding quiet time to get into the word. And as things hit my spirit, just different things will come in my mind and my heart when I'm idle in my car driving and it kind of sparks an interest in me like, man, let me look that up. You know, let me look that up. That's a real interesting thing. I'd like to gain more knowledge about what God has to say about a particular subject and especially when it pertains to my life personally like when i'm going through some challenges or even when i'm having great success i always try to relegate the word of god to it like what does god say about this is what's happening in my life is it already identified in his word how i should deal with this how do i overcome this how should i be grateful how do i accept this you know who who who, who what is what is it that god wants me to see and so calling on the name of the lord you know, I, I've always seen people do it, calling on the name of the Lord, but not in terms of how I'm going to teach you today. This is really another weapon in our spiritual arsenal, a secret weapon, believe it or not, that invokes the spirit and the hand of God to move on our behalf. I want you all to understand that God wants us to call on him. God wants us to depend on him. God wants us to need him. Uh, there's so many things that that we have missed over the years in terms of how do we relate to an all-knowing, all-seeing God, an ever-present God, uh, especially in the time of need, he's a present help, but how do you access that help? And, and a lot of times we say, 
we've been taught to pray in the name of Jesus. And so that is true. That is one of the ways we can invoke uh, the Holy Spirit. We can invoke God or even Christ Jesus, who also prayed to the Father uh, in order to get results. So we know prayer and then, of course, sealing it in the name and the authority of Jesus Christ is one of those ways that we can see.